Hello friends, Pushkar here, back again with another video. In this video, I will solve a lead code problem of medium complexity and the problem name is sub array sum equals k. So without any further ado, let's get started. So this is the problem. So um, this problem is quite famous. It has been like liked by over 13,000 uh, people. And this is a very famous question and it has been asked in many companies like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, LinkedIn and Airbnb. Okay, so let me first explain you the problem. So in this problem, you are given an array of integers. Okay, the value, the values can be both positive and negative. And you are also given an integer k. And you have to find the total number of sub arrays whose sum equals to k. A sub array is non-empty contiguous sequence of element in the array. In the example one, you are given an array of integers of size three, and the values are one, 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 and value of k is two. So the output in this example is two. Let me explain you why. So basically, uh, you are given an, an array nums. All element are one, one and one. And uh, K is equals to two. The index is uh, zero, one and two. So there are two possible sub arrays whose sum is equals to two. So one is uh, this one. Okay. Starting from one to and ending at one. And the another one is this one okay starting from one and two ending at two okay these are the index okay so one and one the sum is two and uh, another one 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 the sum is two and in the example two uh, the array is one two three and uh, k is three so in this example uh, the output will be two let me explain you why so you are given an array one two and three and k is Three. So one possible answer is one and two. Okay. And this sum is three and another one is uh, the three alone. Let's see what happened in this scenario. Okay. So you are given an array. Okay. Whose values are one, two, minus one, three and minus two. Okay. Indexes are zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. And the value of K is three. So now let's see how many uh, sub arrays are possible here. Whose sum is equals to three. Okay. So one is this one and two, okay? Because the sum will be three. Another will be uh, only three, okay? And one, another uh, possible answer is the entire array, okay? So one plus two plus minus one plus three plus minus two. The sum of this is three, okay? So in this case, the total uh, uh, count is three. So the answer is three. So a possible brute force approach will be uh, find all the sub arrays and their sum and count the sub arrays whose sum is equals to k. Okay. You can do this uh, in order of n square. Okay. But uh, can we do it in better way? Okay. So yeah, there is one more way you can do it with uh, order of n. Let's see how. So the technique we call it uh, prefix sum technique. Okay. So let me first explain you the mathematical aspect of the solution. So let's say you are given an array of five element. Okay. So let's say a then B, then C, then D, then E. And let's say you have the prefix sum, okay? You are given, you have the sum of A and B, okay, S1. You also have the sum from A, B, uh, and C, S2. And you are also have the sum from uh, A to D, okay? That is S3. And the final uh, sum from A to E, okay? That is S4, okay? And also S0 as sum from 8, uh, only A. Okay. So now let's see. Can you, uh, so let's say the difference between S4 and S2 is equals to K. Okay. That means A plus B plus C plus D plus E minus a plus b plus c okay this is equals to k and if you solve this you will come to know that d plus e is equals to k so if you have an array okay for example a b c uh, d e f g h i and you know the sum of all this okay as s1 okay and you also know the sum of uh, the uh, sum of one sub array starting from index uh, zero whose uh, sum is s2 okay let's say from this a to a to d okay 
and the difference is s1 minus s2 is k then you def then definitely you have a sub array okay whose sum is equals to k okay that is from e to i the sum will be k okay so we are going to use this technique to find the uh, to find our solution let's let's dry run our solution in in the example 3 okay so we need a hash map to store the frequency of sub array sum okay so let's have our hash map like this okay and let's have a initial value okay uh, 0 1 means that there is one sub array okay whose sum is 0 okay and let's start uh, let's start from index uh, 0 okay and our prefix sum is 0 and our answer is 0 currently okay so when our index is i our prefix sum will become 1 okay and we'll simply check whether how many a prefix sum is there in our hash map okay with the value prefix sum minus k okay so our prefix sum is 1 so 1 minus 3 is equals to minus 2 okay so how many um, sub arrays is there in hash map whose values is minus 2 so currently 0 okay so no update okay and we add this prefix sum frequency in the hash map so the prefix sum is one and how many times it is occurring this is the first time it is occurring so its value will be one okay sum is one and the frequency is one okay now when we are at index one okay our prefix sum will become uh, plus two that is uh, three now we'll check in our hash map okay how many prefix sum exist in our hash map whose value is 3 minus 3 okay that is 0 so how many uh, prefix sum exist in our hash map with value 0 and there is what 1 okay that is this one so our answer will be will become 1 okay because there is uh, one uh, occurrence okay and we'll add this prefix sum in our hash map. So now the sub array sum is three and how many times the three has occurred till now? That is only one, okay? And now we'll move to index two, okay? So with index two, our sum will become, um, so previously it was three, then we'll add minus one, okay? So our prefix sum will become two, okay? So now we'll check in our hash map, okay? how many uh, prefix sum that exist uh, in our hash map with value um, 2 minus 3 okay that is minus 1 okay so there is no value okay so we won't um, update the answer but we will update the hash map that there is one sub array whose sum is 2 so sum is 2 and how many sub arrays 1 okay now we will move to the index uh, 3 okay so now our sub array will become uh, so previously it was two okay and now our will add three so our sub array uh, our prefix sum is five okay so now we'll check how many uh, prefix sum exists in our hash map with the value five minus three that is two so 2 is present in our hash map okay and the frequency is 1 so we'll update our answer uh, by incrementing the number of times it, it is present in our hash map so we'll update 1 to uh, 2 okay and we'll add uh, this new prefix sum in our hash map that is the sum is 5 and number of occurrences is 1 okay so now with index uh, 4 okay our prefix sum will become uh, 5 plus minus 2 okay that is 3 and we'll check how many um, occurrence in our hash map okay with value 3 minus 3 that is 0 
okay and there there exists one okay that is zero zero comma one so we'll update this okay to uh plus one okay that is three okay and so this three is your answer so now let's start the implementation so let's create the hash map okay map of integer integer let's name it prefix some count okay and we we need a answer variable and let's put the initial value okay that is 0 comma 1 okay and a variable for prefix sum let's create a for loop okay int i is equal to 0 i less than nums dot length okay i plus plus a prefix sum will be i okay and your answer will be prefix some count dot so we need to find how many um, sub arrays of some prefix sum minus k exist in the air in this uh, hash map if it's exist okay then we need the value if it if it doesn't then default value is zero okay and then uh, update our hash map okay just put this uh, new prefix sum okay and if it's already exist we need to increment it okay so dot get our default pick some default will be zero and need to increment one okay and at the end we need to return our answer so let's run for this sample case um, the answer is one so let's see whether it's coming one or not okay and for the sample two from the lead code size lead code website it is for this the answer is two let's see And yeah the answer is two so let's uh, submit this okay and see whether it's get accepted or not so let's run the the code so that we check whether there is some compilation error or not so it has passed the sample test case okay so now let's submit so yeah so uh, this has past all the test cases and the code is accepted this is what in this video if you like this video then please subscribe this channel i will keep doing lead code problems on a regular basis till then take care